Happy Blissful Day, everybody, and welcome to our channel. My name is Gabriel, and this is my wife, Kylie. And in today's video, we actually want to share with you guys how we manifested bliss and how we enjoy bliss on a daily basis. It's actually going to be a fun video. So first of all, I just want to define what bliss you know, means to me. And then my wife is also going to just share what bliss means to her, right? So bliss to me means like inner joy and uh, inner happiness. And also, you know, that feeling of, you know, completion and oneness as well. That's how what bliss actually, you know, means to me. Because previously, or as I mentioned, you know, in previous videos that I never even knew that this feeling existed. I always thought it was outside of myself because, you know, I had to deal with, um, you know, anxiety and all that other stuff. Because when, even, even though I knew about Neville, you know, studied and all that stuff, I would still get, you know, anxiety and sometimes, you know, depression as well, because I never took the time to actually go within myself. I never took the time just to explore these beautiful, you know, feelings, whether it's love, bliss, happiness, whatever the case may be, never took that time. I always just listen to YouTube videos, listen to audios, you know, read, always kept busy. I was always a human doing and not a human being. But now I decided, you know what? I'm just going to now start being. And when I finally, you know, began the journey inward and just explored, you know, the feeling of bliss. Wow, wow, wow. What an amazing experience. You know, it has been an ease. So for me, it's inner joy, inner peace, inner happiness, and just that completion and oneness as well. And um, it's just a beautiful feeling. Sometimes it's like even my baby and I, sometimes we can't even like really explain it, you know, in words. It's really something that you, you know, have to experience, you know, yourself. But all I can say, man, is wow, what an amazing experience and feeling as well which is so awesome and the good thing is it's free it's free we don't have to go anywhere all we the only thing that is required from us is just to express our gratitude for it inside of ourselves and then it shows out in our reality you know and so that's basically bliss for me so i'm going to have my baby just share what it actually you know means to you mm -hmm. and uh you know and stuff like that yeah, before we met, I don't even know if I knew the word bliss, to be honest. Um, but then once he started explaining it to me and stuff, I thought, okay, it sounded a bit surreal. It's like, oh, this bliss, like, ooh, rainbows <laughs> and unicorns, like, yeah. <laughs> this bliss. But then, yeah, I think my experience of it was very similar to yours, where it's, to me, you know, happiness can be like a temporary thing or joy of a moment of joy. But to me, bliss is more that sustained a state of having that perfect joy, perfect happiness. It's not dependent on anything outside or a circumstance, mm. but it's just fully dependent on what's happening inside. Mm. And that is something that we can tap into anytime we want, mm. which we do. We do it mm. all the time mm. to have that state of endless bliss, this perfect mm. joy, perfect happiness. This mm. part of it, bliss is this carefree nature to it. We were mm. talking this morning of yeah. just being like a child. Yeah. You can be silly and fun, still mm. do your work and do your adult things that you need to do. Yeah. But you can do it with this childlike nature. Mm. And to me, that's what bliss is. When you see a child, they just go out and they just run and they're happy. Yeah. They, they don't need something to make them happy. They just are mm. happy. Mm. And to me, that's a beautiful thing. And I think, yeah, for me, that's kind of, when I think yeah. of bliss, it's just this child running through yeah. the field, mm. just freedom, yeah. happiness. Yeah, and for it's sure. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing because when... Um, 
I actually introduced uh, the concept of bliss, you know, to my wifey and she obviously immediately, you know, became fond of it as well. And she said, yeah, for sure. I said, listen, yeah, would you like to basically change your, your, your concept, your self-concept or your image to, you know, to bliss and not to just to bliss, but endless bliss. She's like, yeah, yeah, sure. And then we began the inward journey for her as well. And so the cool thing was her uh, is she didn't know anything about manifestation on Neville Goddard. So for her, it was something new and she basically was very, very open-minded. So it was so cool. And um, so when we did the entire process and I explained to her, listen here, so what we're going to do is every day, we're just going to take time and just to feel the bliss within us. Just feel the bliss, you know, within us. Just feel the bliss you know, within us. And it was so amazing. And um, we did it for quite a few uh, times, like timeline. I'm not so good at actually putting timelines, but I'm revising that. I am great at putting timelines together and I'm getting better all the time. Um, so, but we did it every day. And I'm just going to say about, say, three or four weeks. Would you say like remember when we did that uh, um uh process of, uh, mm -hmm. for bliss and i told her, i told her, i said you will know when your concept has changed to bliss when your outer reality tells you that you're blissful for example when people say that uh you're blissful or when you see bliss you know just popping up um you know on tv and all of a sudden on your phone and, but most importantly, when people tell you that you look blissful, you this and that and that. And as we were doing this, you know, uh, process every day, me and her, just, you know, expressing our gratitude for the bliss, you know, within. And just really feeling the feelings, you know, of it. And um, so like Neville Goddard says that any desire that you want, all you need to do is just ask yourself, how would it feel if it had to be true? So that's what we did. We tapped into this feeling of bliss and we felt it every single day. Until my wife, he started seeing people congratulating her on being blissfully happy, blissfully in love. And when you start, okay, I'll just, I'll just share. I'll just allow you to share when you started seeing your reality showing you, you know, it was, that you blissful. I know obviously you felt it. I could see the glow in her, you know, when she started realizing. I could also say, I'm like, okay, wow. <laughs> and also another thing, when I also start, uh, I seen the freedom within her, like she speaks about being a child and I could see like making funny faces. We were dancing, you know, just doing stuff and like really just being, teenagers you know in love and just being in the moment and appreciating the moment for what it is right now because the bliss took over our inner world and as a result our external world is actually you know blissful as well which is a beautiful thing but um, i just want you to share with um uh, your experience when you started also seeing it in your uh, 3D reality, your external reality. Yeah, I think the first time it was a friend of mine. She sent me an Instagram DM and she said something about like, oh, it looks like you're so blissfully happy. It's just like a movie. Mm, and that's, that's how we always way. said that our life yeah. is just mm. like a movie mm. and, is bl and we're endlessly yeah. blissful. And mm. I think that was the first time I thought, okay, wow. So mm. this works. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. But I was thinking, you know, because we've delved into this state for so long, we said endless bliss, we've done revision for the past. I don't really remember a time where we weren't blissful like this before. Yeah. Like you said, yes, we started, we did this for, say, three weeks. I don't know. Mm. To me, it's been from day one, day we've one, been yeah. blissfully happy. Mm. We've seen evidences of endless bliss since day one. Yeah. Because it's endless. There's no beginning. There's no end. Yeah. It just is. It just is, yeah, for but sure. But I do remember those, that message for me was mm. the most. Yeah. And on my birthday, we went to a spa. And like each door had a different word. And the first door they had, like the room for the, the treatments, it was bliss. Bliss, 
Yeah. I was like, First Whoa. Was okay. And then the champagne that we bought. Oh yeah. We bought the champagne and it was bliss written on there. Yeah. We were like looking for champagne to buy and boom, we see a champagne bottle is bliss. And it was the most um, delicious. It was the most delicious. It was delicious um, champagne. Bliss, man. Bliss. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, so it's just, you know, amazing. And the point that I really want to actually um, share with you guys is that it is within you, right? It is within you and it's a beautiful state. And as my wife, he said that with like my, I also do not remember, you know, these past episodes of, you know, anxiety and depression. I have to read the only reason why I'm mentioning it to you, you guys is so for reference experience so that you can know where we have been as well, because we haven't always been blissful. I mean, for both of us in our past relationship, we never felt what it was to um, be in love. We, it was foreign to us. We never, we only were in the relationship because of the sake of relationship. We both tried to be in love, with, but we didn't know how to do it. We didn't know how to do it because we didn't know that it was inside of us. We thought that the other person is going to make us fall in love, right? Mm. And only now we realize that, shit, man, it was all along inside of us, yeah. you know? And now we get to add love to each other and add bliss to each other because it's already inside of us. She's um, um, embodied the state of love and the state of bliss. I've also embodied the state of love and the state of bliss. And as a result, we're adding to each other's life on a daily basis. So it's not a needy relationship. It's um, an amazing relationship. It's like when you uh, link up with your homie, with your friend, and you're like, oh man, I can't wait to see you. And our relationship is like that. It's like we like best friends, man. We silly together. We play together. We dance together. It's like whatever it is when we cook, you know, when we clean, when we wash the dishes, we go for walk, we sing. It's amazing. We are free. Hey, right, baby? Mm -hmm. Freedom. Freedom, man. It's a beautiful thing. It's an, an amazing thing. And here's the thing. If we can experience this, you can too. Because it's inside of you. It's inside of you. You know, it's inside of you. It's not outside. You know, it's not outside. And that's why we're always so um, grateful and so happy to share these videos with you guys, you know. And all these titles, they come to us. You know, maybe, maybe we sleep, they come to us, cool. And we don't have to, like, plan it. They just come to us. They come to us and then we share it with you guys, you know. Um, and it's really a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's, is there anything else you want to share, my love? Yeah, I was just reminded of when you proposed. Mm -hmm. And when he proposed, pretty much, in, well, he did ask me to marry him, but mm. the main question was, will you add to my bliss for the rest of my life? Mm. And yeah. it was just such a beautiful moment, especially talking about yeah. it now, mm. where it's like, it's not, will you give me bliss, you're not the source of my bliss, but will you add to my bliss? Mm. If we both yeah. embody bliss mm. and add to each other's for the rest of our lives. Mm. And it's such a beautiful thing. It's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing, man. Wow. It's just beautiful. It's like my baby said, it's like a movie, you know, it's like a movie. Um, it's just, you know, awesome. It's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. But we just wanted to share that with you guys. And really, it's all within. All you need to do is wrap it open and allow it, you know, to basically embody your entire being, your entire, you know, body. And then what will happen is you will see, you know, your reality will then show you evidences of bliss, 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 bliss. People will say bliss, 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 bliss. It's like, you know, you're not, you don't even have to try because when bliss takes over your concept and your image, then it becomes you. It's like you, you won't even try to, like she said, she can't, she couldn't remember, you know, a time that she wasn't blissful, you know, because her entire image is now changed to bliss or concept. You know, same with me as well. The only reason why I do it so that you can obviously know where we've been as well. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, so having said that, I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you need help to change your relationship to bliss or to manifest a blissful relationship or partner, we actually helping, you know, people. We offer, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, to do that. And if you found this video helpful, uh, do give it a like. Because YouTube will show it to more people 
and if you like the content uh, do subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much you know for your time and enjoy your blissful day and we'll catch you in the next one it's all good have a baby have a baby <laughs> yeah, baby <laughs>